Fresh produce plays a vital role in our diets, providing essential nutrients and flavors to our meals. But unfortunately, a significant amount of fresh produce never reaches the end consumer due to pre-consumer food loss. In this video, we'll explore the five main stages of pre-consumer food loss, shedding light on the various ways fresh produce can go astray throughout the food supply chain. But before we jump into it, if you would like to see more videos like this one, hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date. At the farm level, food loss can occur for various reasons. One of the primary culprits is the aesthetic standards set by retailers and consumers. Misshapen fruits and vegetables that do not meet these standards are often left unharvested or discarded, despite their nutritional value. We need to challenge the notion of perfection and embrace the uniqueness and flavor of imperfect produce. Once produce is harvested, it enters the post-harvest handling stage. Here, improper storage, handling, and transportation can contribute to food loss. Factors such as inadequate temperature control, rough handling, irregular ethylene levels, and improper packaging can lead to the spoilage and deterioration of fresh produce. Implementing efficient cold chain systems, proper packaging, and training for handlers can significantly reduce food loss through this stage. Processing and packaging play a crucial role in delivering fresh produce to consumers. However, this stage presents its own challenges. Excessive processing can result in the loss of vital nutrients, while inefficient packaging can lead to spoilage or damage during transportation. Striking a balance between convenience and waste reduction through innovative packaging solutions, such as organic materials or portion controlled options, can minimize food loss at this stage. Distribution and retail stages are often characterized by time constraints, where fresh produce needs to reach consumers quickly. However, delays in transportation, inadequate inventory management, and inefficient distribution systems can lead to spoilage and waste. Adopting technologies like real-time tracking systems, intelligent inventory management, and optimized routing can help streamline these processes, reducing food loss along the way. The final stage of pre-consumer food loss occurs at the consumer level. Despite our best intentions, we often contribute to food waste unknowingly. Overbuying, improper storage, and misinterpretation of expiration dates are common factors that lead to food loss. However, by adopting mindful consumption habits, such as planning meals, properly storing produce, and repurposing leftovers, we can significantly reduce food waste and contribute to a more sustainable food system. Understanding the five main stages of pre-consumer food loss highlights the complexities involved in delivering fresh produce to our tables. From imperfection at the farm level to conscious consumption at the end consumer level, every stage presents an opportunity for improvement. By challenging aesthetic standards, implementing efficient handling and distribution systems, and adopting mindful consumption habits, we can reduce pre-consumer food loss and build a more sustainable food supply chain. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to learn more about best food and handling practices at home, we have a bunch of free courses available on our website. And if you're into all things green, hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date. Together, we can help the world go a little bit greener.